the thing, they put their bags down. They were asked to go upstairs. And while going upstairs, that's when they received their medical inspection. They were watched by the doctors for the full 360 degrees. Half of the doctors were downstairs at the first step, the other half were upstairs at the last step, leaning over the railings, watching them walk upstairs. And in doing that, they could give them a full body inspection in the course of, say, six seconds upon arrival. After that initial six second exam, they would take a button hook, lift up the eyelid, and inspect the eyeballs for signs of trachoma. We call it pink eye. Uh, we've got it a nickname for it now because it's so simple and easy to deal with. But back in 1900, it's incurable. And if you have trachoma in your inspection at Ellis Island, you're almost sure to be sent back where you came from. They just looked in your eyes, you know, they pulled the eyelids back. I don't remember that the voice was that. Bigger it was a sense of the thing, but it was true. In the course of, on average, a minute or less, everything was given a glance, and in that glance, they could examine you for, as the doctors bragged, 60 different medical conditions. 20% of got the doctor's special attention, got noted, and were literally marked with chalk on the sleeves of their coat, marked with P for pulmonary, LL if their left leg was dragging a bit, the all-purpose H for heart, maybe even an X with a circle around it, possible mental derangement.